you just put two hands on top of another and put your forehead onto those doubles up there. Then I would like you to walk your feet over to the right just a little so that you are slightly C-shaped or slightly like a bent banana. Then we're going to bend the right leg, lift it, straighten it in the air and lower. So you bend, lift, straighten, lower. Bend, lift, straighten, lower. So it's like a reverse cycle, slightly side bent with your whole body to the right. Bend, lift, straighten, lower. Bend, lift, straighten, lower. Last, four, three, Two, last one, and then I get you to move your feet over via the center to the left. So you slightly side bend to the left. And then you'll be working with your left leg, bend through your knee, lift, straighten your knee, lower. Bend your leg, lift it, straighten it, lower. Bend, lift, straighten, lower. We're doing another five. Four, three, two, and your last one. And then come back to the center, push yourself up into a child's resting pump. And we're going to go down onto our stomach again and we're going to have our hands next to our shoulders on the floor. Our big toes are together, heels apart. And then I want you to lift your chest bone, but not your belly button. And then lower your chest bone back down. Lift your chest bone, but not your belly button. And lower. So you're lifting the chest, but press the belly button down. And lower. You do another three like this. Two. Last one. Hold the last one. We're going to continue but with our arms floating. So fold your arms, lower your chest bone, lift your chest bone, lower and lift. Five. Four, three, two, and your last one. And then press back into your child's resting pulse. Now we're going to go 
onto knees and elbows. Earlier we did the reverse cycle lying on our stomach with the slight banana shaped spine. Now we want to do the reverse cycle in this position. So we're working with the right leg, right knee bent, lift, straighten, and then sweep it through, bend, lift, straighten, and sweep it through, bend, lift, straighten, and sweep it through. So it's a reverse cycle with the right, the right knee never touches the ground, and as you continue working with the right leg, check what's happening with your left knee. Have you rolled onto the outside edge of your left knee? If you have, try your very hardest to come back to the center of your left knee. Three more cycles. Two. And your last one. And then let's do an immediate swap over. Both knees on both elbows, the left knee. Bend, lift, straighten, sweeping through. Bend, lift, straighten, sweeping through. Bend, lift, sweeping through. A reverse cycle with the left whilst keeping an eye on what's happening through the right knee. The right knee stays centered. It wants to badly roll onto the outer edge, but you don't allow that to happen. Last three cycles. Two. Last one, and then sitting back in a child's resting pose. Now our last exercise coming up on our stomach. You have your big toes together, your heels apart. Your head is off the floor, but we are looking down so that our neck is nice and long. So make sure that your eyes look straight underneath your nose. Then your arms reach up into a Y and pull down into a W. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Big toes together. Your eyes are looking underneath your nose. In breath to reach, out to pull. A to go. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, last two, last one, and then push up, child's resting pose, and breathe nice and deeply into your stomach. Let your chest really fall down onto your knees. 